Hello, and thank you for joining me for 7-Minute Seed. Let's get that seed down in our hearts that it may produce roots and grow up and mature and produce fruit of the Spirit. Let's do the same in our homes and with our families. I am Pastor Kate, coming to you from Root bible.com i thank you for joining me today uh check out rootbible.com i think you're gonna love it um it's one of the best places we think there is to be if you're a family if you're an individual it's where you can really learn about the word of god no matter your age and you can grow deep roots that go down and develop you in the faith of god that he's put in you we have a new semester that is beginning called The Real You. That's beginning next month. And did you know they're free? You can register for free. We go by seed sown by those that are led by the Lord to sow into this ministry. Otherwise, my husband and I fund it because we believe that we need to get the word into each and every generation, the uncompromised word of God. So if you haven't yet, subscribe to the podcast, okay? Share it with friends. Everybody has seven minutes to get the seed of truth in their hearts. If you don't get in the seed, how on earth will it produce roots? It will not. So in order to produce deep, sustaining roots that will grow up, branch out from Christ Jesus and develop the fruitfulness that will not fade away, that cannot be burnt up because it is the fruit of the Spirit, you need to have deep roots. And that is in the Word of God alone. All right, let's get started. I'm pulling from our table talk and our final class in Handle with Care semester that we are finishing up at rootbible.com. And we are talking today about truth. Let's get started. All right, seven minutes on the clock. Um, <laughs> truth. There is only one truth, and that is Christ Jesus, the Word of God. That is why we often say, know your translation. Today, so many translations, in order to sell more copies, are making adjustments to the Word that are wrong. So get precious, um, dated scripture, and then through root and yourselves, learn how to use the Strong's Concordance, learn how to study the Hebrew and Greek, go into the Word and find out what the Lord is really saying. For instance, in the beginning, when Adam and Eve were together and God told Eve her desire would be for her husband, that was a punishment, right? How many women out there can say, oh yeah, my desire is for my husband. I just can't kick it. I always desire my husband. No, but that's what it reads like, right? Now, when you go into the Hebrew, And there's a missing verb that English doesn't have a word for. And that is after, uh, a desire after or toward. So what the Lord was saying there is you would have a desire to have your husband's role or to wear the pants in the family or to be the man. Yeah, that's so instead of um, and what comes right after that, he will rule over you, right? So your desire would be to rule over him. That was That's what came with the curse of her choosing the fruit and then gave it to Adam. But it doesn't read that way when you read in the Bible. So it's so precious. This was not what I planned to talk about, but it's so precious to learn how to use your Strong's Concordance, how to use your Vines Expository Dictionary. These are all things we teach in the rootbible.com classes, how to utilize these tools to really know the Word of God. And that doesn't mean you need to study the whole Bible every day, all day. No, but take a verse. Take the verse that your family's on for the week and find out what it really says and meditate on that. There is more life in that than reading a chapter a day, unless the Lord's told you to read a chapter a day. Let me clarify. But there's more fruit that comes from understanding and studying and meditating on that word than there is from just consuming large amounts. So we've likened it to, we have a moringa tree. It is one of the most healthy trees in the world. If we eat moringa leaves, even if we were starving and we're making dinner, we're no longer hungry. Now these leaves are like little and you don't eat very many. And the reason you're so full is they're so nutrient dense. So fullness from the word of God can come from rich nutrient understanding of a verse or a 
group of verses that you get full revelation knowledge on from the spirit as you meditate and study it out than maybe eating a whole loaf of wonder bread or in this case just quickly reading a whole chapter to mark a box in your app or you know what have you to say i've i've read my bible check you know and and unless you lead someone in that truth they're not going to necessarily go there automatically so do it as a family get a verse and just put it up and everyone study it out what's it really saying it's really fun actually and it brings revelation like you would not believe so what was i going to talk about truth and truth versus feelings how do you how do you know that um, your feelings are lining up with truth because today we live in a society and our children are growing up in a society that are compromising truth to to honor their feelings <laughs> it's hard to even say that that's a thing today it's always been a thing just today there is no outlet that we're not facing it. There's nowhere to draw away from people living by their feelings versus truth. Um, I don't feel like that's true, so I'm going to go with my truth. There's one truth, and that is the Word of God. That is Christ Jesus, who died so that we could be made new, and He could live on the inside of us, and we could be seated next to Christ. So, the new birth made us new, and in being made new we were given the truth. In order for the truth to truly set us free though, even though we've been made new, even though we're saved, even though um, in Christ Jesus we believe in our heart we shall be saved, we are still working out our salvation. And in order to be set free from this bondage of sin and death, we receive Christ Jesus. We're no longer under the dominion, but we can still be in bondage to sin and death if we don't get the truth in us. Did you know you can be totally free from your captor, totally free from dominion, and still reside as, as if you are still captive by sin and death? You know how you do that? By not getting the truth in you. The truth can only set you free if you know the truth. If you're going to make up your own truth, it won't set you free. If you're going to let your feelings decide your truth, you're not going to be free. You are going to be dominated by sin and darkness, even though Christ delivered you out of it. If you do not get the truth in you, because it is the truth. It is Christ Jesus who sets you free. So how can you be set free if you don't know the truth? This is why we put such value, such weight on families knowing the word of God, getting it into your kids as soon as they're old enough to start knowing the word of God, because that is truth. And on that, they can rely and it won't return void like their feelings will. Today, I feel one way. Tomorrow, I feel another. Your feelings can never be your guide. They're like the waves of the sea and you will get nothing accomplished and you will receive nothing from the Lord if you operate in your life like that. So does truth depend upon feelings? No. And I just had that discussion with one of my kiddos last night. They felt alone. They felt like their prayers were hitting the ceiling. They don't feel like God has answered um, something that they've been looking for an answer for. And we had to say, does that change the truth of God? I understand your feelings. I've felt it before, but that means our focus is off. Let's find out what God says and let's align with his word and let's not continue down the road of allowing these feelings you're feeling right now to determine the truth. The truth is God created you and loved you. The truth is you're his sheep and you hear his voice. The truth is his plans for you are good and your your vision, your what you're looking at for an answer for him just might not be what it is he has for you at all. So get truth into you and into your kids and allow it to produce that freedom of life in you. Those rivers of living water got to get in you, be released in you from everything he's given you. It's got to be released in you first and in your home then you're going to change neighborhoods and nations. Thank you for joining me for 7-Minute Seed. You have got this. 
You know the word. You are his created vessel, and you're going to raise a mighty victorious family because you are, and because you seed their hearts with the truth of God, the seed that doesn't return void. Blessings until next time we meet. Thank you again for joining me.